as in the previous implementations of Node.js as in callback and in error handling we have seen like how to do the basic operations with a particular file. Now in this video we will see some more implementations with a file along with some basic operations like reading and writing. We will see how you can deal with the path of a file or directory and a particular file. So first of all we will see how can we set a particular path and how can we deal with the different issues that is concerned with the path or the location of a particular file. In this very first program of file streaming you can see like here I am using two global variables provided by Node.js these are double underscore file name and double underscore dir name. This file name variable will provide you the current location where your file is situated where the this dir name will provide you the directory name on which your file is located. So to execute this program let's go to the command prompt and write node app.js that is the name of my program. So when I will execute it you can see as here uh, it is saved in e drive node node app. So in the file name you can see along with that particular location you can see the uh, app.js that is the file name and in the second one that is location you can only see the current directory on which this file is saved. We can also use process.cwd that is current working directory if we want to process the file of a particular location. By default the current working directory will be the same path where you have saved your file. So when I will execute this one let me clear the previous output and now uh, you can see like app.js when I will execute you can see the current path is very same as that of the current location but programmatically you can change the path of the CWD alright so for doing that let's do one thing uh, we use the process.chdir that is change directory and we change it to some other location for example here we have set the root path uh, and we have changed the current working directory. So in this particular situation the underscore underscore dir path will be same but the current working directory will be changed alright and along with that if there is any exception will give you the message alright. So let's execute it now and you can see like initially the current working directory was the e drive node node app and later it was updated to E drive alright but in case if you will print the uh, underscore double underscore dir name you will still get the same location. Now let's consider a fact like here as we know that in node.js we provide the server side scripting and that server may run in any of the operating system like Mac, Windows or Unix based machines like Linux but in different operating system you may get the different uh, separator for example some use forward slash or some use backslashes. So if in case you want to set a particular location that may be a challenge if that particular server may run in the different operating system. So in that particular situation what you can do you can just uh, create an array of all the directories starting from the parent one like node.js inside node.js I want a directory called programs and then we uh, I want one directory called first app alright so I want to nest them so here you can use the path uh, that is the built-in module by node.js so here you can use the separator so on the basis of current operating system the required separator will be passed and these directories will be joined so the resultant is stored in this variable called directory which we have printed right here so let's see what we can see right here. So as here node app.js and you see like node.js then inside programs and then first app. Alright so here we just printed this path. If you want you can use the different methods to create the directories at runtime in the very similar way. While working with the global variables of node.js like double underscore file name you got the complete path along with the file name and extension. But in case you want to get the 
some part of it like the file name or just the type of file on which you are working you can use the path module for that purposes also all right so as here you can see like here i have taken a file name where the complete path like node.js programs first program then app.js this path is there now i want to get the file name and the extension of this file programmatically all right so you can see that we have used the file sorry the path module so path.base name will get the complete uh, file name while path.ext name will take the extension and later i printed both of the things right here so let's execute this to see the output so node app.js and here you can see file name is no app.js and extension is dot js let's see how to work with the basic operations of file such as reading a particular file writing a file and renaming a particular file we'll see all such basic operations now in this section in this program we will check like whether a particular file on a particular location exists or not so here first of all we have included the fs that is file stream module of node.js and then in the path variable i have just taken a path so here what i'm considering is there is a data folder then inside that data there should be my text.txt if this particular path exists then we will uh, check and uh, say like this path exists if it doesn't exist we will print doesn't exist so currently i don't have any directory here named data so when i will execute this you can say that it is it says doesn't exist all right but in case i'll just pass this file name all right which actually exists and i'll re-execute this it will say like this my text.txt exists all right so this is how you can check for a particular location that is directory or a file in this program we will try to read the content of this particular file which currently exists in the same location as that of my app.js so in this app.js what we'll do is first of all we will use the file stream module that is fs and after that we will pass the path of my file either you can pass using dir name the complete path or you can also pass just the file name as it is in the same location now here you can see our fs.read file here we will pass the path then the uh, encoding way 8 bits and after that there is a callback function so as soon as this uh, callback thing this reading thing is done right since it is the asynchronous way of reading uh, you can see like function will return either an error or the data in case of error we will send that error if we got it successfully we'll print that data so let's save it and try to execute it in the command prompt so here you will see like this is my text file this is, this is what written inside this text file you can also pass the uh, path without this dir name alright I will also remove the slash and now you see again the same output but in case there is something wrong happening so in that case read error the same message which we passed and here you will get this error message so this is how this is how you can start reading your files asynchronously this is a very simple program which you can use for writing the data on a particular file in case the file exists it will override it and if file doesn't exist it will create a new so here you can see like uh, again we are writing the data in the asynchronous mode so write file is the method which we are using file this is the location data what you want to write inside a file so here we just pass a message like data is written in the file through the node.js program so that is the data which I want to write if there is any error while writing this we will send that error and in case if it is not we will print the data as normally alright so let's see how this output will look like so here you can see like su successfully wrote in this particular path so this is how you can start writing the data in a file so now here you can see like I already have this my text.txt which we recently uh, written now if I want to rename this particular file what I can do 
is I can use the rename function. I can also use this rename function in order to cut paste my file in some different location. So here you can see it's a very straightforward code like here what we have done old path the current location with the file name and new path the current location and the file name. So either you can put the same name and you can change the path like here you can see I have added the dir and then the file name. So as soon as you will pass these parameters in the file fs.rename the old path, new path and then the, again a callback function as always it will be done the copy paste right. Why it is copy paste? Sorry not copy paste it's cut paste. Why it will do that? Because the location is changed. So if I will execute this you can see like file doesn't exist here anymore rather now it is inside the dir. Let me get it back uh, and let me rename it again my text. Now if I'll pass the same path here uh, let me remove this slash dir alright. So it will be in the same location but with a new name. You see like file is still there but the name is changed. So this is how you can rename or move a file from its location. As whenever you will be working with the file streaming, file must be located somewhere in a directory. In this section, we'll see how you can manage the directories like creating the directory at runtime, removing it and all such operations in this section. Now as far as the working with directories is concerned in this program we are using the mkdir method for making a new directory. So you can just pass the particular location where you want to do that and then call this function alright. In the asynchronous one if there is any error like permission or something or uh, any particular exception like that particular location doesn't exist or what. So this error will do at that time right. So let me execute this program now. And as soon as I will execute, you can see in this location, I got a directory called mydir which I just passed right here. If you want to read all the data inside a particular path, like here we have C drive windows folder, generally you should pass any programming related path where you have created a, a project and there are some several files inside. But in my case, I have passed a simple operating system path. That's why I use double backslashes. So you can use the method called read dir, which will actually get all the files inside this particular location. So as soon as I will execute this, you can see I get all the data, all the directories, all the files which exist inside the Windows folder. And finally, in case if you want to remove a particular directory, you can call rmdir to remove that particular directory. Make sure that directory has to be a blank in, case, in the time you are removing it. If it is not, then you have to make a recursion and you have to go inside the functions, uh, sorry, inside the directories and you'll have to remove the child ones first. Alright, so this is how you can treat your paths, files and directories while working with Node.js.